Okay, this is a quickie video uh, in, as an addendum to the video I made yesterday about uh, making a, a jig for mitin cord clams. And there seemed to be a little bit of confusion of how to use it. So this is what this is going to be about. It's very, very simple. Like everything I do, I'm a simple man. So let's put that down there. Now, this is the jig that we made yesterday. Now, very, very, a sash window, and this is the channel that the rope goes in. So, in order to cut in the, um, uh, the where's my screwdriver? It's there. Uh, in order to cut in the um, hole for the um, cord clamp, Quite simply, use the point there to, to center everything, center, center everything down. So we screw that down there. And we center that one there. The point tells you where the center is and it's not, it's not necessary to be Absolutely, categorically um, in line, but it helps a little bit. So that one's a little bit too far over. So you can tell it's the end of the day. That's it. So we move that over there. This is made out of Moranti because that's uh, all, all I had. That hole there corresponds to the shape of that. That slides in there. And what we have to do is we have to router this out. Now the way I do it is I use uh, router bits with a top bearing. These are half inch. These are half inch router bits. Quite simply, there's different sizes for different depths. It's not the way they were intended to be used but it's the way I use them. They come in various sizes. This is generally used for hinges, but it's got multitude of uses as well. And I find that this size, which is about, which is about 25 mil long, is the best size for this particular job. Yeah. So we tighten that down. He said, looking desperately for a, a spanner. The day. So, Take that down. I leave about that much of a gap out. Tighten that down. Now comes the interesting bit. You put, you put the fence back on and you'll notice that that is much deeper than the hole that we've got there. So the first bit to do is simply to make a hole in the wood without scoring the, uh, the template. So we switch this on. All we do is we make a hole down the bottom there without touching the sides. Hi, this is just a quick demonstration of how easy it is to fit cord clams from Mighton. Just an introductory bit of video, and then we'll go into how to start it. Cut the rebate out a little bit longer than necessary. Screw the jig that you've made yourself to the sash. Route out the rebate depending on your router, whatever size you need. Don't forget to clear away the debris. Then make sure that the cam fit, fits before you go any further. Then separate the clam into two parts and then screw in making sure that you put it the right way up.
It's that simple. Now here's a speeded up version of the whole thing. As you can see, it's very simple. Yeah. All you have to do is make sure that your router out deep enough for the housing to fit into. Because I've only got a small router there, I do two passes. With a bigger router you could do perhaps one pass. Unscrew the jig. It's very homemade, but it works. Get the housing. Put it in. Separate the two halves. It gets held in place with two screws. Fit it in, job done. And this time at normal speed. And there you have the finished article. We're going to make pretend that this 